dragons grope blindly for the path on a starless night, their master glancing ever upward to the skies for assurance that he is on the right course. A dim lantern, his only protection against the encroaching darkness. But the skies bring no comfort, shining no light, betraying no hint of what they know. The caravan carries travelers bound for the frontier hamlet of Gilded Vale, you among them, where a local lord has offered land and wealth to settlers from abroad looking for a fresh start. You have taken suddenly ill, sweating and shivering, and one of the other travelers signals for the caravan master to stop on your behalf. He pulls up just in time to avoid plowing into the trunk of a fallen tree that bars the way ahead. You will go no further tonight. I'm here. Watch and learn. <clears throat> to whispers and shadows.
Everybody stays close to the wagons, got it? Stay out of the woods, and beasts take you if you are planning a stroll through those ruins up there. Whole area's crawling with hut-dwelling types who'd be happy to stick an axe in you for trespassing. So mind that you don't track mud on their sacred blazing rocks. Tonight, everybody stays put, and in the morning, we'll get the path cleared. Gilded veils less than a day out. Understood? Touch of the rumbling rot, could be. There's a stinging beetle around here carries it. You'll be fine once it passes your innards. Unless you don't drink water, of course. Which case you'll be dead in a day. There's a berry grows in these parts, small and pink. Called a springberry. About the size of a fingernail. Give you cramps if you eat it, but the frontiersmen make a tea from it. Calms. I know you want to hunt before it gets much darker. But see about refilling our water first. Got a sick one here. They grow on a bush that's common around here, kind of funny looking. You'll know it when you see it. Doubt you'd have to go far off the road to find one. Hold on. Take someone with you. I know you're not some helpless tenderfoot, not like most of this lot. But you drop dead, I don't want to be looking for the body. Got a schedule to keep. Kalisha. Kalisha! He needs to find some spring berries. Watch that he doesn't drop dead. No promises. What kind of guide says something like that? Kind you can afford. Don't listen to her, you're in good hands. And I pay too well, if anything. Off with you, Hayden should have supplies. See that you're equipped before you head out. We're in harsh country. Get your berries and hurry back. And if you get so much as a tickle of wind, you drop everything and you run. Something in the air tonight. If it's a Beowick, we'll shelter in the ruins. Hut dwellers be damned. You heard the man. Let's get going before you keel over. Got it. Anyone need supplies? I've got sundries for sale. Go on, then, before it gets too dark. We shouldn't stray too far. Let's check by those outcroppings.
This is it. Still waiting on Sparfell, which means he's ignored me again. If I'd known he wanted to slow us down, I'd have just tied him to the back of the wagon and dragged him. I'm sorry, you want your water, you better go find him. He's got all the skins. Shit, come on, let's go look for him. <laughs> <laughs> 